So in previous videos, we have looked at how to create links from your OneDrive account, your OneDrive folder to the VLE, so that when you click on the link in the VLE, the document opens up in your OneDrive and you can view it or edit. The obvious progression from that is not to have the file open up in OneDrive, but actually to have the file open for you to see and edit in the VLE itself. And for this, we don't use sharing, but we use embedding. And in the first of two videos, I'm going to show you how to embed uh, a Word document uh, and a spreadsheet, a uh, Word document and a PowerPoint into Firefly that you can view on the page. As you can see from the screen, we're back in OneDrive. And these are the two documents that I am going to embed in my Firefly. So let's start with the Word file again. If I move my mouse over it, I want to tick the empty square. And this time, rather than go to share, I select embed. Now, embedding it means that you are copying the code so that the document appears to be in the VLE. And what you need to do is click the generate button, because what that will do is make the code. Now, the code looks quite complicated but if you've ever looked at a YouTube video and tried to share that you'll notice it's the same sort of code this thing iframe is there and there's a copy of our document and you can see if I scroll down it's there so I'm going to copy this code just simply control and C or command and C or however you wish to copy and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into our Firefly video and I've already created a section for my help sheet so I'm going to go and edit this page and I'm going to click below and this time rather than go to link we go all the way to embed if I click on embed I now get a box asking me to embed the code and all I do is I paste in the code that's there now the code uh, looks well it looks a complete mess the key thing though is you can actually change the width and the height of the document that appears if you so desire um, but I don't so let's click done and then what you'll notice now is the document appears in the page and if I move up and down you get that width and height that was selected if I go into embed or rather if I click on this document and click on the wheel I can go and change those features but there's no need to because with OneDrive let me show you what happens let me press done and if I just move down if I scroll down you can see there is my document that I can move through actually on the Firefly page if I just move down a little bit more I've also got these features here if I click on this down arrow I can download a copy or print PDF but if I click on this one here I can view it back in OneDrive there we go so that is how to embed a word file what about embedding the PowerPoint well let me just click on to here I've created a page where I'm going to put in my PowerPoint what does my PowerPoint look like? Well, let's go back to OneDrive. Let's just press done. Here it is here. Again, let's untick that so I don't copy both. Tick the blank box. Click on embed. Click on generate the code. So this is now going to copy the code that allows me to play that. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back into my Firefly page. Go to edit the page. Click underneath the banner click embed, paste in my code, click done and hopefully there is my file, click done and now a student can actually go through the PowerPoint on Firefly and they don't need to have the software and what's more if I click on this one here if they so want to it will open up full size as a normal kind of PowerPoint presentation uh, if I click on this one here just inside the highlight 
it now is running full size as though I was presenting this on the screen. And they can simply click through it like that. How impressive is that? So that is embedding of documents. I've done it with Word. I've done it with PowerPoint. You can also embed uh, Excel. Uh, at the moment, you can't embed videos from OneDrive. Uh, you used to be able to, but they're looking into that problem. So hopefully that will be resolved in the near future.